Alright everyone, right now the Bernie babies are trying to hashtag me too Joe Biden with sex assault allegations that are like, I don't know, 30 years old or something. And the reason that they're doing this, this happens constantly. Somebody gets into a realm of power and another group that doesn't like them digs something up that's age old that's already been either explained or discredited and they do this over and over again. And you don't have to be like a high level politician, you see this happen with lesser celebrities and stuff too. But Joe Biden, he's on the precipice of the presidency. The Bernie babies don't like him. They don't like liberalist policies. They, they would rather have socialism because for some reason they don't know history. So Joe Biden's 300 delegates ahead. Out of the last nine primaries, he won eight of them. The only one he lost was the, the least among them, North Dakota. He's obviously got a, a basically clinched the nomination. But because of the coronavirus pandemic, the primaries have largely been pushed back till June. Most of the states have delayed their primaries till the last minute. Now this throws us into a realm of uncertainty. The DNC has already threatened states that are doing this with the possibility of losing their representation entirely. If that happens, Biden's already clinched. He's way out ahead of Sanders, despite the fact that he hasn't technically clinched anything. We're looking at the possibility of a contested convention. So the Bernie Sanders fans realize something. Against all odds, they're hoping to me to him down low enough so that either when the primaries vote or, you know, if the voting doesn't even happen and the DNC throws up their hands, Bernie actually has enough support to have a legitimate claim to being the nominee. Now, I don't speculate that this will happen. If the Me Too thing was going to hurt Joe Biden, I would think that many months ago when the, you know, the fake Joe Biden website was set up, Joe Biden, I can't remember exactly, it showed him like sniffing kids and schmoozing with old women and stuff, and, and he is weird when he does this. Biden is a handsy dude, very hands-on. It's bad optics. It may have been fine in the 70s or in the 60s or whenever Joe Biden, you know, first started getting gray hair, but it doesn't really work now. The problem is this. The Bernie babies are hoping that somehow the same thing that totally failed to knock Joe Biden down before is somehow going to work now. I don't think that it will because people don't... The number of people who would vote for a socialist over even someone with that kind of allegation against them as long as it's an age-old allegation I think is, is pretty low. Socialism is holding Bernie Sanders back. He chose to be a purist rather than a pragmatist. And instead of coming out, and, and this would have been cheapening himself, he would have been lying to people doing this, and it would have pissed some people off. He should have come out and said, well, yeah, I've used the term socialist, but, you know, I'm not really technically a socialist. I'm just a social democrat. I want an expanded welfare state. No, 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 I don't want socialism. Uh, essentially, I just want capitalism, but with more welfare. He could have done that and sold out, and he'd probably become the nominee, because Joe Biden is a dish rag. But he didn't do that, so he fucked himself. By the way, right now, the Democratic primaries are basically, they're almost not even occurring right now. There's no campaigning going on. Nobody can go hold rallies. Trump can't hold rallies either. What are we, by the way, as a society, what the fuck are we going to do? Suspend our election? Oh, yeah, Trump, you can just be president for an extra couple of years. Fuck elections and shit like that. We'll just have a consul sort of setup. We'll name him emperor. I don't even know exactly at this point what we're going to do if things aren't locked down uh, more readily with regards to the pandemic. That being said, though, the Bernie babies, I hope that they succeed. I actually hope that the Me Too campaign against Biden kind of works and knocks him down a little bit because the better Bernie Sanders does, he won't be nominee. The better he does, though, the closer you get to the possibility of a contested convention. Biden has won. I'm not, I, there's really no possibility of anything else. In order to, to go in with more delegates than Biden, Sanders would have to win all the remaining states by something like 65%. It's not going to happen. But if he can win some of those states, you know, half of them or something, by reasonable margins, not get completely curb stomped in the rest, you'll have a contested convention or you'll get close enough to the threshold where Biden's barely over that the Bernie babies will burn down the DNC's convention in Milwaukee. Now this is also going to be interesting. Normally you would expect it to be a big event. Huge gatherings, tens of thousands of people outside. Do you honestly think that's going to happen? Joe Biden's fans aren't going to show up. They're, he's not charismatic, and they don't give a fuck about him. They're basically, eh, we'll settle for Biden voters. Bernie Sanders fans will show up <laughs> because they tend to be disproportionately young and not really give a shit. We've seen this. Uh, and, and so they'll show up, and, and the convention will basically be like, 
Bernie and Biden on screen, probably, with no audience at all, other than a, a handful of people there that'll be you know, wiping themselves with the cloths regularly, disinfectant, and then a bunch of Bernie Sanders fans rallying outside. The optics of it'll be hilarious. The Milwaukee Convention, assuming that the lockdown is still in effect in part or in whole, is going to be hilarious. It's going to be the craziest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> it's a totally topsy-turvy, illogical and, and, and insane. Of course, I just described the two Dem uh, uh, candidates, but <laughs> accidentally, uh, I hope that they're successful because a contested convention with nobody there to contest would be great. It'll be, it'll be chaos, and political chaos is really great, too. We need a little bit for the Democrats. What they need to do is be thrown into chaos, make dumb mistakes, lose in a landslide, and then ask themselves why they're such losers. Because they didn't do this after 2016. They said, well, it was Russia. Well, it was sexism. Well, it was DNC rigging. They blamed everybody but themselves. They didn't look inside and say, hmm, maybe our party leadership is too old and non-strategic. Maybe our platform sucks and people are rejecting it. Maybe our constant whining and dining of the far, far left is causing a schism, a divide within our party, and it's causing it to be impossible for any single candidate to actually create a coalition. Maybe that's why we lost, against Donald Trump of all people. It is still funny to me, by the way, years later. And they're probably going to lose to him again. I don't care about polls saying, well, Biden leads Trump by 10 points nationwide. Yes, very impressive. So he's like Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton with lower turnout, lower enthusiasm. That'll work really well. Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Gesundheit. Hillary Clinton with fewer fired up delegates. I mean, uh, 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 surrogates. Hillary Clinton unable to campaign for part of the general, maybe, because of, uh, of quarantines. I, I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you at this point, Democrats. I think that you've uh, already lost already, basically. And, and, you know, it's good, I think, for the United States if Trump gets a second term. He's done a good job so far. I trust him far more in an economic crisis than I would trust any of the Democrats. That includes any of the people that were running before, too. Warren or Gillibrand or Julian Castro or Beto O'Rourke, any of these other people. The only thing that comes close is Booty Judge because he's the only one there that was sort of the sane man in the room. And of course, he's toast. And he's not going to be running mate, we know, because Joe Biden, who is going to be nominated, uh, has already vowed that it's going to be a female. By the way, that's not going to be Hillary Clinton and probably not Elizabeth Warren because Joe Biden might be a little kooky. He might be a little bit demented and shit. I don't think he's quite that crazy, though. The cat just won't stop singing this morning. Poor Liz has to keep going over and petting the cat. <laughs> keep it quiet. Uh, I, I hope they're successful. I want chaos in, Mil in Milwaukee. Not, not chaos like political violence. Nothing like that. I, I want the Milwaukee convention to lead to a lot of hurt feelings. I want a lot of Bernie Sanders fans to get schlonged again so that they finally learn their lesson that the revolution won't be televised if it can't happen. Bernie Sanders tried to operate within a corporate political complex and he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's been an independent forever who caucuses with the Dems because he agrees with them on a few topical financial issues. That's the only reason. He's not even a Democrat, dude. They have nothing but disdain for this man. They disdain him. They just didn't want to keep him out of the race and look like they were schlonging him up front. They figured that he would just sort of peter out and disappear. Oh, but Bernie is a fanatic. Now you've had to push the primaries back. He'll be in for several months doing additional damage to your nominee. I think it's great. I hope that they keep me tooing Joe Biden. I hope the Bernie babies figure out, formulate a way to knock him off his pedestal. Hell, I hope Bernie Sanders becomes the front runner and still loses simply because he'd have to be front runner by a massive margin to have enough delegates going into the convention. It's not going to happen, but it will be so funny to watch them try. That's about all. Peace out.